Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are grilling. Got some Asian inspired hamburgers out on the grill. Take a look at these bad boys. So these are kimchi hamburgers. Got some kimchi mixed in there. Let's see if I can do this. Woo! Looks good. Kimchi, ginger, soy sauce. Excellent. All right. Let the filth cook. So here on my char broil patio bistro, true and fair char broil uh, grill. Not sponsored, but totally would love to be. <laughs> Man, it's been a long day. I'm gonna tell you that. I was up all morning with the baby. My wife got home and then I immediately had to go to work. After work, went to the gym. Mm. Then I picked up groceries. Ran by my dad's house to check the tires. So I didn't have a tire pressure, or tire gauge to check the tire pressure. Dad helped me out with that, came home, got stuff prepped for cooking, ran down onto the store, put gas in the car, aired up the one tire that was low, made a plan to go get that fixed tomorrow, and came back home, and now I got the burgers on the grill. So these are kimchi hamburgers. I've got some cucumber and some carrots and a quick pickle, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of lime. And uh, typically I would make these with an Asian inspired slaw, just a bag of coleslaw, some gochujang or some sriracha, a little bit of mayonnaise, mix that up. But uh, my coleslaw mix was expired. So I threw it out. We're just gonna go without it tonight. Just have the hamburgers by themselves. But that coleslaw on top of the hamburgers is so yummy. I wish we had it. Having these little sessions out here in the uh, in the garage here. I hope you guys are enjoying the new direction that I'm taking my Wednesday videos on. Uh, and so you wanna cook. So go check those out. I have a couple of recipes already up. Uh, my wife and I have been cooking since we started this channel. So there's tons of recipes already on this channel, all sorts of stuff, apple crisp, white barbecue sauce, all sorts of stuff. but. It's the summertime, we're grilling. So I got my charbroil out there. And charbroil, if you're watching this video, hey, I'd love to be sponsored. I'm a tiny little bitty channel, but I'll tell you what, I love grilling on this charbroiler. So wink, wink. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get these burgers assembled. They're big, big burgers, like quarter, three quarter pound, half pound burgers. And get them assembled and have a little dinner tonight. Oh man. It is humid out. It rained earlier today. It's a little bitty bit. We've been in a drought and it's been horrible. So got a little bit of rain, just enough to make you mad. <laughs> well, it's humid out here. It's cool, but it's humid. And so I'm just sweating profusely. You may not be able to see it on video, but I was already sweaty from the gym. Now I'm sweaty just from the ambient temperature all the moisture in the air but i got these burgers going at about 350 400 degrees these are big ass burgers <laughs> i'll go inside uh, put some cheese on them get those quick pickles cucumbers and carrots that i put on the on top make a sriracha mayonnaise just have a big burger for dinner tonight it'll be so good man i haven't made these in a long time i think the last time i made these was when I went to the coast for my birthday a few years ago. That's one of the things we put on the menu. I like to cook when we go out of town. Instead of going out to eat everywhere. I mean, it's nice to go out to eat and have a fancy dinner out one night when you go out somewhere. But for the rest of the vacation time, 
save your money. Cook. If you know if you know how to cook, cook. If you don't know how to cook, learn. I've got a couple videos on that. You can go check them out up here. <laughs> Anyways, let's go flip the hamburgers and then go inside and put them all together. And I wish y'all could have seen the sky a little bit earlier. A whole bunch of clouds out here. The sun is setting over that way. All these nice pinks and purples. I mean, it's not a bad sight right now, but it was much prettier like 45 minutes ago. It looked beautiful. And it's actually nice out here in the breeze. Let's see what we got. Grills right around 400. Again, that char broil, patio bistro. Let's take a look, see what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't talk a whole lot about my past prior to meeting my wife here on the channel, but before I met her, I worked at a steakhouse. It was a family-owned steakhouse. And so each one of the children had a steakhouse. I think there was, there was one in New Mexico, there was one here, and there was one somewhere else. And I worked at the one here in Texas. And I learned how to cook steak and meat, poultry, shrimp, trout that sort of thing from this establishment <clears throat> and there's a trick to getting the grill marks with rotating your piece of protein or whatever it is that you're grilling without cooking it all on one side so the trick when you first flip your your steak let's say your hamburger right your hamburger's on the grill like this you flip it 180 so the side that's still raw is now on the bottom and then you rotate it so this is the bottom you rotate it like this and then put it down on the grill that's the first flip second flip straight over third flip you're going to flip it right over again and rotate it one more time so that the grill marks make those nice intersecting lines on that piece of poultry or whatever, that protein that you're cooking. That's the key to cooking it. If you have hot spots on your grill, it's not gonna cook evenly. Every you know grill or griddle or stovetop is gonna be a little bit different, but that ensures that every single side of the meat has been cooked in at least that same spot, at least on one side. So it makes everything cook evenly. But that's my pro tip for cooking. If you want those really nice hash marks and you want everything to cook evenly, flip 180, make a 90 degree turn, put it on the grill, flip 180, put it on the grill, flip 180, make another 90 degree, 90 degree turn, and you have that nice intersecting lines on each side of the meat. Each side of your protein will look really, really nice. So these are on their third flip. So these are getting, this is that 180 flip. They're getting these same marks here on the bottom side. So when we flip them, flip over, and then you turn 90 degrees. So now they're gonna get these marks on the bottom. That again. See if I can do it. 90 degree turn. Just like that. Tried to do the, the spin on the flip. That did not work. See if we can do this. Hey yo! 90 degree turn. There we go. These suckers are almost done. Throw some cheese on them here in just a minute. In front of my garage, there's a nice breeze whipping through here. It's much nicer than just sitting in the garage. The breeze doesn't really go through there very well. So it's actually like 
76, 75 degrees. And it's, let me check my watch here. Oh, never mind. It's like 93 degrees according to my watch. But uh, it feels not bad out here. It's uh, nine o'clock, 93 degrees. <sighs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Ready for our first cool front. It's August, September's right around the corner. And then it should be fall, fall season. Pumpkin spice everything. I've got a video for that as well. <laughs> if you're into pumpkin spice flavored things, we did a little exploration down at, I think, Lucky Lab Coffee. Has a really nice fall menu. Go check that out. Ooh, there it is. Okay, those look good. All right, so we just got some bread here with some sriracha mayonnaise, cucumbers, carrots. Did a quick pickle. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. Anybody asking? The baby's doing good. A little emotional, but she's fine. <laughs> what was your honest opinion on the hamburgers tonight, baby? Very good, she says. Good. We have a happy plate. So, very good. Oh, you heard it from my wife. Very good. Oh, little Alice passed out back there. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Do me a favor. Go down there and like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we post. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life's about the destination. Wait. Life's about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> My wife's laughing at me. <laughs> Life's about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Y'all enjoy. Peace. <laughs> That's right. Life's about where you're going, not how you get there. That's it. So, just think about that for a little bit.